everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who has uh, supported me on my new social media pages on Facebook and Instagram. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Um, I want to make those pages as interactive as possible. So if you guys ever have any questions or suggestions for me, or if you ever need any clarification on the posts that I make, please get on the you know Facebook and Instagram and start messaging me, and uh, we can get a conversation going. On to why I want to make this video. So about 10 days ago on January 15th, I decided to challenge myself by doing this exercise called the stomach vacuum every day for a year and record my progress and post about it online. I was inspired to do so by other people who have done similar challenges and I'll provide links to, to those so you guys can check that out as well. Uh, so. If you don't know what a stomach vacuum is, it's this core exercise which was popular among body bodybuilders in the 60s and 70s, which um, essentially what it requires you to do is exhale all the breath out of your lungs and then draw your, your diaphragm up as high as it can go and pull your belly button in towards your spine um, as far as it can go and hold your breath. And then you inhale once you no longer can hold your breath and repeat. Um, so initially I didn't know much about this exercise, I didn't know what the actual benefits are of doing it, but as it turns out, uh, there are many. Um, so the interesting thing about the stomach vacuums is uh, there's been a lot of research done on them. If you, in the scientific community, they're better known as abdominal drawing in maneuver. And if you go to PubMed and search for abdominal drawing in maneuver, you will find a plethora of research regarding this exercise and more specifically on how it can alleviate low back pain. Quite, in, quite interesting. So I'll just run through um, some of the research that I've uh, kind of found out for myself and uh, explain how it actually helps low back pain. So the first thing you need to know about the stomach vacuums is they help preferentially activate deeper core muscles such as the transversus abdominis and the internal obliques as opposed to the external core, uh, core muscles such as the rectus abdominis, the six pack muscle and the external obliques. And essentially what happens is when by activating those muscles you increase the tension of what's called the thoracolumbar fascia which is this deep connective tissue that's found in the posterior region of your lumbar spine. and the activation or the tension in the thoracolumbar fascia can, can, can help generate intra-abdominal pressure which then makes your abdomen into this rigid cylinder which is mechanically more stable and therefore it helps increase lumbar stability and the more lumbar stability you have the less low back pain you will have. There's a second method of how it actually helps low back pain in that the thoracolumbar fascia actually connects to glute and hamstring muscles and so when the, this thoracolumbar lumbar fascia is tense, it can coactivate glute muscles and then increase the stability of your lumbar pelvis hip complex and therefore help posture stabi stability. And the better the postural stability, the more alleviation of low back pain you will have. And so in one specific study, what I actually found was that the, the major finding was that the static core stability and single leg postural stability were both enhanced with stomach vacuum training after only two weeks. Uh, and this was in non-athletes with core instability issues, so it's quite, quite interesting. And the other key finding from that study was that actually stomach vacuum training uh, effectively improved transverse abdominus muscle thickness. It's quite impressive. Uh, so there you go, there are quite a number of good reasons why you should practice stomach vacuums. And now I'll just do a couple of demonstrations so I have a record of my progress after slightly less than two weeks of doing this exercise. I'll do a front and side view. Okay, so here we go.
So there you have it. That's my uh, less than two week progress with the stomach vacuums. I'll be posting again about this in a couple of months to see how far I've taken it. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.